English 113, Grammar 1. Chapter 7. Count and Non-Count Nouns. Part 1. The Learning Objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to identify and use count and non-count nouns appropriately. Use a and an appropriately. Use a or an and some appropriately. Use units of measure with non-count nouns. Use many, much, a few, and a little with count and non-count nouns. Use the appropriately. Use no article to make generalizations. Use some and any with count and non-count nouns. Non-count nouns. A count noun can be counted with numbers. I have one chair. He has two chairs. A non-count noun cannot be counted with numbers. I have one rice. He has two rices. Non-count nouns. A count noun can be preceded by a or a n. And remember, a count noun can be counted with numbers. I have an apple. We saw a monkey. A non-count noun is not used with a or a n. And remember, a non-count noun cannot be counted with numbers. I need an information. He wants a money. Both are incorrect. A count noun has a plural form. There are two glasses of water on the table. A non-count noun does not have a plural form. The room has new furnitures. Incorrect. Non-count nouns. Some common non-count nouns. Work, homework, traffic, money, mail, jewelry, furniture, equipment. Flour, dirt, corn, vocabulary, literature, poetry, advice, information. Milk, coffee, sugar, sand, salt, rice, hair, pepper. Meat, cheese, butter, bread, water, tea, soup, oil. Beauty, health, knowledge, experience, weather, wood, soap, paper. Honesty, patience, progress, ignorance, happiness, luck, help, courage. Using an versus a. A or an means that there are several people or things, but you are not thinking of a particular one, or you are not saying which one. A or an is used only with singular count nouns. Can I have a pen? There are several pens. I want one. It's not important which one. I work in an office. It's not important which one. Using an versus a. Use an before vowel sounds. A, E, I, O, U. Which are the vowels. And remember, anything else is a consonant. Examples. She lives in an apartment. A bee is an insect. The exam lasts for an hour. Now, H. The exam lasts for an hour. The H is not a vowel. It is a consonant. But since it is silent, the O is a vowel sound. So you use AN. Use AN before vowel sounds. Examples, Tom lives in a house. The letter H is not silent, so it is a. Ali works at a university. The letter U is pronounced U, so it is not a vowel sound. U. This is what it sounds like. You put A before. I want an umbrella. The letter U is pronounced uh, so it is a vowel sound. It comes from your throat. Be careful. Choose A or AN because of the sound, not the spelling. Using AN or A versus some. Use A or AN in front of singular count nouns. Example, she has a letter in her mailbox. I would like an apple. Use some in front of plural count nouns. She has some letters in the mailbox. I would like some apples. 
use some in front of non-count nouns. I have some rice. You cannot count that. She would like some food. You cannot count that either. End of part one.